Good morning. It's August 17th. We'll be starting in Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 27. Now at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication of with gladness, both with thanksgiving and singing with cymbals and stringed instruments and harps. And the sons of the singers gathered together from the countryside around Jerusalem, from the villages of the Nethophotites, from the house of Gilgal, and from the fields of Geba and Asmaveth, for the singers had built themselves villages all around Jerusalem. Then the priests and Levites purified themselves and purified the people, the gates, and the wall. So I brought the leaders of Judah up on the wall and appointed two large thanksgiving choirs. One went to the right hand on the wall toward ref the refuse gate. After them went Hoshiah and half the leaders of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, Mishalom, Judah, Benjamin, Shemaiah, Jeremiah, and some of the priests, sons with trumpets. Zechariah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zechur, the son of Asaph, and his brethren, Shemaiah, Azarel, Milal, Gilai, Mai, Nithanel, Judah, and Hanani, with the musical instruments of David, the man of God. Ezra the scribe went before them, by the fountain gate in front of them, they went up to the stairs of the city of David on the stairwell of the wall, beyond the house of David, as far as the water gate, eastward. The other Thanksgiving choir went the opposite way, and I went behind them, with half the people on the wall going past the tower of the ovens, as far as the broad wall, and above the gate of Ephraim, above the old gate, above the fish gate, the tower of Hananel, the tower of the hundred, as far as the sheep gate, and they stopped by the gate of the prison. So the two thanksgiving choirs stood in the house of God. Likewise, I had the half of the rulers with me, and the priests, Eliakim, Maasiah, Minjamin, Micaiah, Eleonai, Zechariah, and Hananiah with trumpets, also Maasiah, Shemaiah, Eleazar, Uzi, Jehonan, Malkijah, Elam, and Ezar. The singers sang loudly with Jezariah, the director. Also the day that, that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The women and children also rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard afar off. And at the same time, some were appointed over the rooms of the storehouse for offerings, the first fruits and the tithes to gather them into them from the fields of the cities, the portion specific by law for the priests and Levites. For Judah rejoiced over the priests and Levites who ministered. Both the singers and the gatekeepers kept charge of their God and the charge of purification according to the commandment, command of David and Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old, there were chiefs <coughs> of singers in songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. In the days of Zerubbabel and in the days of Nehemiah, all Israel gave the portions for the singers and gatekeepers, a portion for each day. They also consecrated holy things for the Levites, and the Levites consecrated them for the children of Aaron. Chapter 13. On that day they read from the book of Moses and the hearing of the people, and in it was found written that no Ammonite or Moabite should ever come into the assembly of God, because they had not met the children of Israel with bread and water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them. However, our God turned that curse into a blessing. And so it was when they heard the law that they separated all the mixed multitude from Israel. Now before this, Eliashib, the priest, having authority over the storerooms of the house of God, was allied with Tobiah, and he had prepared for him a large room with which, where previously they had stored the grain offerings, the frankincense, the articles, the tithes of grain, the new wine, and oil, which were commanded to be given to the Levites, the singers, and the gatekeepers, and offerings for the priests. But during all this, I was not in Jerusalem, and in the thirty-second year of Artaxerxes, king of Babylon, I had returned to the king. And then after certain days I obtained leave from the king, and I came to Jerusalem and discovered the evil that Eliashib had done for Tobiah. 
and preparing a room for him in the courts of the house of God. And it grieved me bitterly. Therefore I threw all the household goods of Tobiah out of the room. Then I commanded them to cleanse the rooms, and I brought back into them the articles of the house of God with the grain offerings and the frankincense. I also realized that portions for the Levites had not been given to them, for each of the Levites and singers who did the work had gone back to his field. So I contended with the rulers and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together and set them in their place. Then all Judah brought the tithe of grain and the new wine and the oil to the storehouse, and I appointed as treasurers over the storehouse Shemaiah the priest and Zadok the scribe, and of the Levites Pediah, and next to them was Hanan the son of Zakur the son of Mataniah, for they were considered faithful, and their task was to distribute them to their brethren. Remember me, O God, concerning this, and do not wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of God and for its services. In those days I saw people in Judah treading wine presses on the Sabbath and bringing in sheaves and loading donkeys with wine, grapes, figs, and all kinds of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I warned them about the day on which they were selling provisions. Men of Tyre dwelt there also who brought in fish and all kinds of goods and sold them there on the Sabbath to the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said to them, What evil thing is this that you do by which you profane the Sabbath day? Did not your fathers do thus, and did not your God bring all this disaster on us and on the city? Yet you bring added wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. So it was at the gates of Jerusalem, as it began to be dark before the Sabbath, that I commanded the gates to be shut, and charged that they must not be opened till the, after the Sabbath. Then I posted some of my servants at the gate, so that no burdens would be brought in on the Sabbath day. Now the merchants and sellers of all kinds of wares lodged outside Jerusalem once or twice. Then I warned them and said to them, Why do you spend the night all around the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time on, they came no more on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should go and guard the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your mercy. In those di days I also saw Jews who had married women of Ashdod, Ammon, and Moab, and half of their children spoke the language of Ashdod, could not speak the language of Judah, but spoke according to the language of one or the other people. So I contended with them and cursed them, struck them, struck some of them, and pulled out their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, You shall not give your daughters as wives to their sons, nor take their daughters for your sons or yourselves. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by doing these things? Yet among many nations there was no king like him, who was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, pagan women caused even him to sin. Should we then hear of your doing all this great evil, transgressing against my, our God by marrying pagan women? And one of the sons jo of Joyada, the son of Eliashib, the high priest, was a son-in-law of Sanballat the Hornite. Therefore I drove him from me. Remember them. O oh my God, because they have defiled the priesthood. And the covenant of the priesthood and the Levites. Thus I cleansed them of everything pagan. I also assigned duties to the priests and the Levites, each to his servant to bring and to bringing the wood offering and the first fruits at appointed times. Remember me, O oh my God, for good. First Corinthians Chapter 11, verse 1. Imitate me, just as I also imitate Christ. But I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the traditions just as I delivered them to you. But I want you to know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of every woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. But every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head. For that one and the same, 
as if her head were shaved. For if a woman is not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it is shameful for a woman to be shorn or shaved, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, since he is the image and glory of God, but woman is the glory of man. For man is not from woman, but woman from man. Nor was man created for the woman, but woman for the man. For this reason the woman ought to have a symbol of authority on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is man independent of woman, nor woman independent of man in the Lord. For as a woman came from man, even so man also comes through woman. But all things are from God. Judge among yourselves. It is proper for a woman, is it proper for a woman to pray to God with her head uncovered? Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a dishonor to him? But if a woman has long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given to her for a covering. But if anyone seems to be contentious, we have no such custom, nor do the churches. Psalm 35, verse 1. A Psalm of David. Plead my cause, O Lord, with me, who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net from me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself into that very destruction. Let them let him fall. Them, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you? Delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him. Yes, the poor and the needy from him who plunders him. Fierce wickedness rises up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. I paced about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered together. Attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feasts, they gnashed at me with their teeth. Proverbs 21, verse 17. He who loves pleasure will be a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not be rich. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the unfaithful for the upright. That's it for today's reading. Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that you just let it wash over us. We pray that you would go before us today, Lord, and that you would give us divine appointments, or that we would be able to share your love with people. God, I thank you for, for your provision for us, Lord, not only in this life, but for eternity. I thank you that we have the hope of heaven. Lord, I pray that you would just uh, let your will be done. Would you fill us with your spirit to overflowing, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.